you for attending everyone i am rich to azel the managing partner of perlas to azel and co welcome you to today on our bidding presentation we will be presenting techniques strategies and other factors that keep our firm relevant and allows us to be ahead regardless of the ever changing demands and trends in our industry it is highly important for perlas to azel and co to have equal progress in each of our respective departments we believe that through this we could make our way towards a better more efficient and effective team we will be presenting to you our vision growth strategy and competitive to be followed up by a different strategies good day everyone i am jose arman magpantay the assurance leader of perlas wasen and co and i will be presenting to you our mission Perlas Tuazon and Co. mission is to help clients to complete and just understanding of industries by providing quality of services with utmost professionalism and integrity offered by our clear leadership. We are driven to achieve success and ultimately contribute to the nation's growth and development. Fortune favors the bold. Our mission statement is short but concise. We aim to achieve our mission in three ways. First up is to help clients to complete and just understanding of industries. We believe that if businesses completely understand their industry they are into, they will be able not only to understand their position in the market, but also learn how to navigate their position into success. Second is to provide quality of services with utmost professionalism and integrity offered by our clear leadership. Our mission is not only to provide service, but rather a caliber of quality, and we will do this in integrity. We are an aggregate of professionals formed by a well-rounded leadership. Lastly, contribute to the nation's growth and development. Perlas Tuazon Co. strongly believes that the growth of the nation is also dependent to the consolidated success of businesses. And we are driven by our passion to be the success factor of these businesses that will eventually contribute to the the development of the Philippines. Once again, I am Arman Magpantay, the Assurance Leader of Perlas, Tuazon, and Co. Thank you. For our growth strategy, our company may provide a low cost but a high quality of service to cater the customers that cannot afford to spend huge amount of money. Our company also will conduct a research and development program to develop new services that can be offered to different kinds of customers. Furthermore, the company will acquire physical assets that can enhance or expand our business operations. To help our employees, our company will provide employees development programs like seminars, workshops, and webinars to update, to update their knowledge about our services offered. The company also will increase customer target to create more revenue as well as to become competitive. At last, our company will invest to technology innovations and software to sustain the quality or efficiency of service offered to the customers. Good day everyone, I am Abigail Joyce Angalan, the Risk Management Leader of Perlas Tuazon & Co. And I will be talking about the firm's competitive strategy, which is the differentiation strategy. This strategy in, enables our firm to compete in the market with our unique services, enabling clients to distinguish our firm from the rest and giving them a clear, compelling reason to select us. As our firm is based in the business capital of the Philippines, which is Makati City, we have looked into our potential differentiators in the vicinity, namely BNV Philippines, PSO Makati, Bermudas and Associates, Smart Account Solutions, and ANC CPA. And from there, we have also identified what services they offer and what they don't offer. So not only will our firm provide common services such as accounting, auditing, and taxation, we will also provide services that are related to technology such as accounting information system development, information technology audit, and review of computer-based application system. So thank you, and for the next part, our colleagues will be presenting the different departmental strategies.
So good day, everyone. I am Riza Marie M. Macunia, the Strategy and Transactions Leader of Perlas to us and Nico. Introducing to you our ever-changing marketing effort from marketplace research to brand research, detailed scientific studies will help you make more informed decisions. So for our first strategy is one of our most important business considerations. Strategy, specifically specialization in niche targeting. Our research has repeatedly shown that the fastest growing firms tend to be specialists in a carefully targeted niche. One of the ways to conduct this is through networking meetups, which is flashed on your screen. With the world still mostly in a quasi-lockdown due to COVID, there ain't a lot of person in networking meetups taking place. But in this normal, networking meetups are a stable, stable market. Next is a high-performance website. Our research paints a clear picture of the importance of services, firm's website, and in fact, 80% of people looked at website when checking out services providers. Its content are robust, educational content, web and graphic design, and finally, it should, it should be responsive enough. And it actually looks like this. So next is to create SEO optimized content to attract prospects to our business. Unfortunately, sitting down and creating informative content is not the only piece of content marketing puzzle that we have to master. We need to write content that the search engines such as Google find valuable, which means having a basic understanding of SEO or so search engine optimization. And these are the key ways to get you started. Like I said, SEO comes hand in hand with blogging. This strategy is that we discovered during COVID-19. And it worked really well for firms during this time as well. But basically, you get in a live video stream and answer your audience questions in real time. It's great to develop a relationship with your audience and to clear up confusion on a particular topic. So here is what it actually looks like. Next, our research has found out that over 60% of buyers check out new service providers on social media. Making it more commonly used source of information and formal referrals and recommendations. A recent study on referral marketing has found that 17% of expertise based referrals are, are made on the basis of interactions on social media because it allows you to network and to connect with valuable contacts and influencers and monitor your brand by social listening. So by that, referral marketing, as I've mentioned, is the nature of professional services referral that has been changed. And this has major implications for your marketing strategy. Our, our studies of referral marketing in professional services have revealed that over 81.5% of providers have received a referral form from someone who wasn't client. So where do these referrals came from? The vast majority are based on peer reputations that speaks for itself. So there are three ways that we have recently researched to promote our company and that is marketing automation, CRM and lead nurturing. So what is marketing automation? It replaces high touch, repetitive manual processes with automated ones supported by technology solutions. CRM, also known as customer relationship management system, is 
another and organize opportunities and client information. And lastly, lead nurturing, which is one of our website's critical piece since it emails marketing and another. It is similarly great email campaigns that enables you to send targeted offers to segment of your audience. So next is to build the powerful inbound sales funnel. The world of sales has changed as well. People to be sold to unless they trust you. It's time to educate people. So the entire process of building a powerful inbound sales funnel is slightly beyond our scope. But to give you an example, you might create a blog post that outlines this way, such as the seven ways of accounting sales and business money and how to accurately identify your perfect accounting peer. For our final thought, is to raise our profile in the community. Helping improve the lives of people in our local community is more than just a nice thing to do. So to get involved in our community, we mean that we are sponsoring charities, joining community pantry, and conduct giveaways. For me, it is the biggest part of our marketing strategy. Good day, I'm Jerlyn Ardonia, the Head of Operations Responsibilities of Perla Stuaza Nenko. So, operation strategy reconciles the needs of the market with operation resources. We have here an operation strategy. Market requirements consist of performance-related goals such as quality, flexibility, time, cost, and dependability. Addressing the appropriate needs of customers through offering and attracting customers as compared to the competitors are the main concepts that influence performance objectives. Wherein operations resources cover an organization's assets, processes, and capabilities. Here is an specified and efficient next slide. Here is a specified and efficient operational strategy that focuses on cost efficiency, time efficiency, quality, and flexibility. In cost efficiency, it is the use of efficient equipments or machineries on production, direct purchase from su supplier of raw materials, and reduce supply chain cost. In time efficiency, those are ready so to serve products, trained employees, and fast and friendly service. In quality, the quality assurance and products, the five P's which are product, price, place, promotion, and people, and lastly, flexibility, being flexible on products offered and volume of products, and can easily, can easily adapt, change, and improve. This should be done so that over time, these actions and decisions become a source of competitive advantage in that dimension or in the dimension that the company chose to compete. The needs of competitive advantage focus on the performance objectives to be achieved by the operations area. Thank you. Good day, everyone. I am Dina Claire Perlas, the Deputy Managing Partner of Perlas Twazon & Co. Our strategy IT21 is expected to deliver a great customer experience and enhance operational efficiency and accuracy of the firm. First is cloud-based accounting. Usually, accounting is done using a software hosted on a computer's hard drive. In a cloud-based accounting, is done using a software hosted on a computer's hard drive. In cloud-based, accountants can store and access data over the internet. Data in cloud-based is backed up automatically and disaster recovery is part of the account. Second is human resource information system. It is time to improve the, perform the performance of HR function using technology. It allows users to store employee information in a central system. It includes personal tracking, payroll and tax functions, and benefit administration. Growing our presence in the digital world increases the likelihood of cyber attacks, and we are no exception. Significant hacking and fraud incidents have been gradually increasing, and accounting information are prime targets of hackers. 
as a, as a business leader, our top responsibility is to protect our clients and employees from cyber threats and to create a customized solution that protects and ensures the business. The policies include sec security monitoring, strict password guidelines, strong encryption of data, and increased security on employee-owned devices. Next slide, please. Um, for the implementation um, of, uh, for the timeline, cloud-based and HRIS will be implemented first. The estimated duration for each accounting software is two months, including installation and monitoring. For the data security and control, it will take three months to fully achieve the result. That would be all. Thank you. So, good day, everyone. I am Tari Angelin Tarino, the talent leader of Fridas, Lawson & Co. And I will be presenting you our human resources strategy. So, our strategy will be focusing on three factors. So, we have efficiency, effectiveness, and impact. So how do we achieve such factors? We will be able to achieve it by means of different processes. For efficiency, we have HRM activities and processes. Then to determine the effectiveness, we have the HRM outcomes. And then to measure the impact of efficiency and effectiveness, we have the organizational objectives. So let me walk you through the various activities that we must do to achieve efficiency, effectiveness, and impact. So first, for HRM activities and processes, we have, um, so the HR department would undergo workforce planning and recruitment selection. This is to make sure that we choose staff that are willing to learn from us and those who will help us deliver quality service to our clients. So compensation and benefits, industrial relations, training, internal mobility, talent management, and coaching will aid us in honing the capabilities of our employees. It can also help them grow as professionals and it would also lessen the employee turnover and help us retain competent employees. Meanwhile, we will only apply downsizing when we are overstaffed and it is also easier for us to keep track of each individual growth of our employees. So lastly, organizational design. This is a new aspect that we would like to apply in our firm. So there's a huge possibility that this would be changed often. The most vital thing is that we eliminate barriers in the fair. It will allow us to lessen double, double work and makes process and decision making smoother. So for the effectiveness, we have the HRM outcomes. So it will be measured through our staff's employee engagement, retention, absenteeism, competency levels, performance, workforce costs, and talent metrics. And lastly, for the impact, it would be measured against the organizational objectives. So increasing profit, market value, market share, decreasing turnovers, increasing productivity, quality, and customer satisfaction are amongst our top objectives. So apart from those, we also have increasing moral values, fairness, fairness and legitimacy. So to understand if the activities and processes and outcomes actually help us in achieving them, we will be using measurement of performance. So measurement of performance will be through the use of financial KPIs, customer KPIs, and process KPIs. So that would be all for the HR strategy and thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Marklin Pahulio, the Chief Financial Officer of Perlas Tuazon & Co. I am here to present the financial strategy of our firm. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Financial strategy is defined in many ways. So it can be defined as an interdisciplinary methodology to more efficiently allocate our scarce resources within our organization to satisfy our clients. As you can see, we have divided our financial strategy into three categories, the acquisition of capital, the investing in our company's assets, and the redistribution of profit. So for our startup cost, I think it would not cost us much because of our work from home environment. 
but it will definitely affect our targeted revenue. Uh, furthermore, the location of our firm is critical when we acquire an office here in Metro Manila as it depends on the type and the number of our clients. Uh, the next firm is our assets, uh, the office equipment and the other supplies we need to start our operations. A shared office arrangement may enable the firm to cut costs and unnecessary expenses. There's also a market for used office equipments, which we may use to lessen our costs. And we also have to install a database as well as a tax software. And I'm considering Integra HRIS as this enables our firm to access a robust software applications and operate with high level of security at a cheap and fixed monthly price. And lastly, our distribution of profits as we are just starting. I would like to keep our headcount to minimum because usually the CPA does all the work and only adds employee when it is really needed. Uh, usually a part-time and a per DM. And uh, that's all for the distribution of profits. That would be all for the financial strategy. Thank you. On behalf of Perla Stwazon and Co, I would like to thank everyone for taking the time and effort to be part of this presentation. We hope that the implementation of various strategies our firm plan to do will be successful and help us reach our goals. Once again, thank you everyone. And if you have further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.